Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy and science and telescope. We're going to test this guy out, the William Optics Doublet 126. Let's get to it. Okay, so it's past mid-January right now, depending when this video comes out. So uh, Saturn, I think I see it, but it's very hazy. It's still a little bit thin clouds on the west where the sun uh, has set. But the other part of the sky is clear with no type of clouds at all. So I think it's just haziness on the western sky. So, looks like um, Jupiter is about five degrees away from the bottom of the moon and a little bit to the right. And we're gonna test it out. I don't have a finder scope on this guy, but anyway, let's test it out before it gets later anyway. I only gave this guy about 40 minutes of cool down time up to right now. So it means it's not quite gonna be enough. Maybe 40 minutes is probably okay-ish, but probably not perfect. I probably would prefer, you know, I guess would be somewhere between 45 minutes to um, an hour, I would say. It's only a 126 millimeter doublet, so it really doesn't need too long. Maybe 40 minutes is good, but, or maybe it's just, I'm on the border of it being good, but we'll see. Okay, I did find Saturn. It was extremely dim, even in this size. And yeah, it's now totally hazy on that part. And it looks like thin clouds now are building on the west. So I lost it. Either those thin clouds ate it, and now I totally can't see it at all. Um, and maybe it's going behind the tree. So while this part is still good, let's take a look at Jupiter and the moon. Maybe I'm gonna raise the tripod all the way so I'm not bending down. bending down a little bit but I'm using a 31 millimeter ultra wide angle with like an 84 degree field of view I believe it's called a wide scan wide scan 2 I think on this scope there was no color aberration very sharp very tack sharp in this guy very pinpoint stars um, Okay, let me blow it up a bit. Let me put the famous 8.8 .8 Mead 4000 series, ultra wide angle, and get really close. Okay. It does not come into focus, even though this thing has like four inches of travel. I might need the inch and a quarter adapter. Let's try that. If that uh, inch and a quarter adapter did come into focus, why don't I show you guys and see if I can um, put it in the camera. Okay, what do you guys think of that? Let me scroll a little bit. That looks pretty sharp to me. So right now I have a Nagler 13 because the 8.8 .8 uh, it's too big of an eyepiece to go inside the cell phone camera holder. So it, uh, I gotta use the Nagler. So it's a little less power, but I think that's pretty good. This area is always nice, seeing the mountain ranges over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, that's enough for the moon. Okay, hopefully you guys like that on the moon. 
Uh, again, that was only just my cell phone. And now let's go to Jupiter. Okay, so the clouds have now come in. It's no longer hazy. It is now starting to be cloudy over there and it's moving its way east. So I probably do not have a lot of time. Okay, I got it. Now let me just lock it down. Yeah, today I see two of them on the left, almost like on diagonal, but a little bit uh, on, almost on top of each other and two on the right. The bands are clearly, there is, there is a little bit of uh, like scatter light. I can see in the 31 millimeter, the band is very easy. Let me go directly to a 6.7 ultra wide angle, Mead 4000, Japan. I want to just get to, in case the clouds come thick and then that's the end of my night. So let me, okay, it's still there. It's nice when you can put a 31 millimeter, which is low power, directly to a 6.7 and it's still in the field of view. That's not always the easiest thing to do. And that's funny, so the, you have two stars, instead of them lining up, you have like two like this and two like that. Okay, the bands are very easy and distinct. I don't know exactly what the power is. But let me jump a little bit more to uh, a 4.7. I'm sure I could even go way more than that too. Oh yeah, that's a good view. So I can kind of see the two big bands and then I can see even a little band right under it. Uh, maybe I gotta start using my chair. I don't have an astral chair. It's one of the few things I've never bought. And I am going to try a two times Barlow with the 6.7, because I'm not sure if the 4.7 might be just way too much power. And I'll know when I put this if it becomes too mushy. So let's check it out. While I got time, let me see if I can show it to you guys. So I'm just going to use a 4.7 ultra wide angle. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Good enough for today. I'm not sure how it's looking on the cell phone, but uh, hopefully it looks okay. Okay, we'll talk to you guys after. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, share my link. If you're on the forums, please share my link if somebody's asked about something like this. And I do have a members videos now where I put one video once a month uh, for you guys. It's only 99 cents to join if you'd like to. And and that's it. Why not you? Why not me?